Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is Whip Wednesday. Recorded on Wednesday because yesterday was a day. Do do do. Watch me whip. Watch me crochet. Watch me knit, knit. Watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Let's talk about what's been going on. But before we talk about what's been going on, I invite you to hook the subscribe button, like the video, and of course, leave some yarn in the comments. Oh, I almost said it wrong again, but I said it right this time. <sighs> um, you know what's fascinating is the amount of days I don't work on anything and sometimes at the end of the day I'm really angry at myself for that and other times I'm just like you know it's okay it's okay to have days where I'm doing other things or doing nothing and sometimes this life is just a journey of recognizing when it's okay for things to be away um, and I've had one of those days this week where I actually had to have a talk with myself and be like, you know, it's okay. You haven't done anything with yarn today. You've been doing a lot of other things. It's okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. What have I done this week, though? I worked on my bag for things we're making Thursday. So come back tomorrow to see about that. Um... I am because we're at the end of March and I'm not even close to being done with my bag. Uh, if I wanted to turn it into a pencil case, I could probably finish it. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is turn it into a Tunisian crochet for next month. I've already looked up um, possibilities on how to do that. I've got like things going in my mind of how to do that. So, got that going on. Um, and the other thing that I've been working on, I've been working on this cow cozy. It's got its head on, it's got its arms, um, you stick a bowl inside of there, and, um, the next step is going to be making the little cow face and ears and tail and then it will be done and I'm kind of excited about this. It's been an interesting journey in learning. I did not realize when she asked me to make it that you worked with two yarns at a time but we're working with I think a J hook and an I hook so it's not too bad any bigger than that and I'm like mm -mm, not doing it my hands don't like it but I'm I'm doing okay with this oh one of the things also is the mystery yarn challenge um, I have made progress on it not as much as I would like in all reality I was hoping I would have it done by now and I haven't so I have some other things going on today but I'm hoping that I can sit down and actually make progress on that um, I have decided which uh, cardigan I'm going to be starting and what I have done which is why it's included in the whips is I went and figured out which one of the bags it was in so I have it pulled out I looked at the pattern and figured out what needles I needed. Um, I remember that when I was trying to make it before, because it's the same cardigan, but I'm gonna make a different size. When I was trying to make it before, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna deal with the needle I have for the first section, because you only use it for like this much and then you switch to another needle. However, this time I scrounged up the money and I ordered the needle. So I am going to be getting that needle today um, and then I can cast that on. And then I already have the other sides that I need so I'm going to be doing that. 
um, cause I have some needles that I don't love. I keep them around for sometimes to put something on hold temporarily. Although now that I've got that, um, that cord stuff, I may not need them for that. And for the sizes that I don't like, but, or that I don't have yet. So I might be able to let that one needle go because I'm gonna have a nice needle in a different, um, in that size. So I don't know, we'll see. I haven't, I haven't even decided to declutter stuff, but I consider that progress. Sometimes going to get the yarn out is progress. And sometimes, like if you're stuck in a spot because you need to go get the yarn going, that's progress. And I'm gonna call it progress. So it's progress that I looked for what needle I needed and I ordered my needle. And when it comes, then I can cast on and that's exciting. So um, the other thing I have been working on is this um, my scarf that is going to be hooded scarf um, because I changed to decreasing every row I just put a thing to mark the center so if I wanted to measure this I would put this kind of in the center of my head and if you can tell this one goes quite a ways down this one still only goes to here because I've mostly been working on this side and this side, if you go like this, you can actually see that it's shorter than the other side. I think you can, sorry, I've got lots of ends here. If I were to put the two ends together, there's definitely a good inch difference in size. So that's exciting. Um, so, I, yeah, I have made some fair progress on this. Um, I like that I am doing um, decreases every knit row because it is making it pretty easy to just pick this up and work on whatever I have available. So um, with this being halfway here, where'd my, knee, where'd my ping thing going? And going down from approximately the center of my head it's almost to my ears and it's still this wide so I know that it will cover my ears um, we'll see when it gets below my ears how thin it is and if I want to keep going but I may just start working on the other side to get it to about the same we'll see I don't know there's something about this side actually seeing that it is getting thinner that brings me great joy so I might just keep working on that until it's below my ear and then work on the other side um, and go from there because it's it feels like progress to see it getting thinner um, and then I think it will feel like progress for it to for the other side to catch up whereas just working on both sides it wasn't decreasing very fast and it didn't feel like progress also um, I wanted to note the end the cur ends are very curly and I actually kind of like that so I don't think I'm gonna worry about blocking this I think I may but we'll see when it's all done because I just kind of like that it curls that's cool with me for the most part, it has a decent edge. I'm not perfect at doing the slip one knit across thing, but I'm trying because it does give it a little bit of a nicer edge. So for the most part, it's got a decent edge. There are spots where it doesn't, and that's okay because nobody's going to notice. And it's for me, so it doesn't matter anyway. And that... That's kind of it, guys. Um, that's what I've worked on. I'm trying to think. I have worked on my socks for temperature socks. And I have... Oh, I've finished a couple of things that I, they were like start and finish. Because they're super fast projects. So I will show you those on Monday. Um, that's really what I have to show you. 
I have a whole list of things I want to start, some things that are faster and some things that are slower and that kind of thing. So I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of energy today. I'm feeling not under the weather, but I have some pains in my body that are taking my attention away from what I'm doing. So it's really hard to sit here and do a video, but it's okay. Um, I would rather show up messy to a video than not show up because I enjoy making videos. I am super grateful for your subscribing. Um, it's been really exciting. I am so excited to announce that there will be a giveaway in Monday's video because we have made it. In fact, I'm going to go look right now. I don't care what's new in Chrome. I just want to go to studio. Um, let it load. I have, as of recording this, 503 subscribers. So we are having a giveaway on Monday and I'm excited for that. So be sure to tune in to the Creative Expressions video on Monday and enter the giveaway. Find out what it is, find out what I'm doing. All right, that's it. Remember to let your light through, shine through your creations, whatever they be. And, um, oh, and remember, links will be in the description, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!